Hi folks, how are you all doing today? So today we are going to understand about DIV and span tags. Okay, we have a separate session for this just to make sure that you're actually understanding the DIV and span tag properly, right? And what for they are used. Okay, so there's always a confusion. Uh, why do we use these tags? and what is the absolute need for them right so today we're just understanding everything related to div and span so that you really do not have any confusion while creating your web pages and what for they are used okay so i'm just making sure that uh, i can actually explain you about all these scenarios where where you understand everything right so yeah let's get started before that uh, I would just like to tell you all guys that uh, yes we we actually successfully completed our uh, 50th video mark thing right and we should continue this journey again and again and yeah i have to get this 100 video mark 200 300 and so on uh, maybe maybe i'm being greedy but yeah but yeah i just want to continue to have this family with me always uh, supporting me right please do share my videos with uh, all your friends and family who has kids and who can't really afford for a very uh, very expensive coding course right so yes uh, please please do share these videos and you do watch all of these videos which are present in the playlist right in a sequence to watch all of them okay for getting a better understanding of the content not only that and you'll feel more confident while using that particular thing right so yes uh, let's get started with our today's session and uh, yeah we we actually know right so we are on to web lab And I'm just thinking of changing the interface also so that um, we can have more additional features while creating the web pages, right? For today, let's use this web lab. And in the next session, we're going to use a different editor. And we'll see that um, we are creating this without any restriction of not being using this tag of or uh, of not... Uh, getting this feature, right? I really don't want this to happen and I, I really don't want to use any offline editor anymore. Sorry, online editor anymore, okay? So we'll start off using a offline editor for our web development projects, right? So that you'll get more out of it and it will be better if you're using that, right? I'll be able to show you all the features and there's no restriction upon something there, okay? If I click on a link and you'll be able to see that, okay? If I click on uh, something or if I'm just using a tag, you'll be able to see that working, right? So there's no other issues uh, while executing any of your apps, okay? Web apps, I mean, or web pages, right? So that's why I just wanna change the editor. I was using these web editors because um, it's pretty simple to share the links, right? So that's just the sole reason I was using this. But yes, don't worry. Uh, right after creating that um, in the offline editor, right? I'll be sharing you that code with um, with you all guys uh, on an online editor also. And I'll share that link with you, okay? So don't worry about the code. You'll get the code. Or if you're following the video and if you're doing it simultaneously, you absolutely can get the code from there, right? So there's no other issue, okay? So yeah, let's start with our uh, today's session with this div and span, right? So let's write it in the heading so that you can you can absolutely understand this, okay? Div and span, and you should also understand this. Uh, why are we only having these two tags in our session today, right? So div and span, they actually have few um, similarities, if I have to tell you, like similarities in the sense, not in the sense of the tag functionality, tags functionality, but yeah, the conceptual thing is almost similar. 
so that's why i'm using these two tags today and i just want to make a session out of this right these are very important tags uh, for any web page okay so yeah let's understand this first we'll we'll start off with um div tag maybe okay yeah i just wrote div right so let's start off with div and then we'll understand about span or shall we understand about span first and then go to div okay i'm thinking about this so much now <laughs> Uh, I think we have to start off with span tag and then let's go to div tag. That would be more uh, relatable to you, okay? Yes, starting off to write a p tag first, okay? So p tag and let's write something like, uh, let's just say something inside this. I am a coding instructor okay i'm just writing this i'm a coding instructor okay so what if i just wanna highlight this thing right coding instructor okay i really don't want to highlight i am a okay i only want to highlight this coding instructor so for now while you're in the p tag you will just go to style.css, you will say color and let's suppose I'll just give blue color. You will see the complete text in blue color now. You can't really avoid this thing from happening, correct? So you can't really just say um, I am A in a different color and coding instructor in a different color right now, correct? But what if, if you want to do that, okay? I just want I am A in, a bla in black color, okay? And I want uh, coding instructor to be in a different color with different style, right? I want to highlight this. Then, then how can I do that? Okay. So let's go here. Now I'll be using span tag for this. Okay. So span tag is actually called as an inline element. Okay. I'll just uh, take a comment and I'll write this. So yeah, okay. Span tag is a inline element. Okay. So what do I mean by inline element? Right. Inline element is nothing but if you have a tag already, okay, and within the line you just want to do few changes, okay, and you really don't want to go go on to the next line or um, or you really don't want to place it some elsewhere, okay. You just want some changes in the same line where you are on, right? So then you can use a span tag, okay? Whatever I'm speaking about, I'll show that to you practically so that you have a better understanding of whatever I'm speaking, right? So span tag is an inline element, okay? Where it makes sure that, okay, it makes sure that, let me just write this. where a span element makes sure that the elements are placed on the same row or on the same line okay right so this is span tag span tag is a inline element okay which makes sure that the elements are placed in the same line okay so or one beside the other we can say right so the elements are placed one beside the other okay right now so I'm just writing span tag here, span. You definitely have a closing tag for span. Okay, so here, let's start off with style tag. I'll just style this because we were discussing about the same, right? Font style italic. You can see now it is in italic, right? 
so let's just say font weight bold you can see now it is in bold okay font size Twenty pixels. You can see this is in twenty pixel size now. Okay, so like now you, I hope you understood what exactly is happening here, right? So we can actually write the span tag into another element also. Okay, now we are in the p element, right? Inside this p element, I'm writing the span element now. Okay, so nesting is absolutely allowed in HTML. Okay, and span tag is um, almost used in uh, while you're doing nesting itself right element in, within another element okay so i'm placing my span element into this p element now that's the first thing and here i have a different style for p and i have a different style for span okay you can see that right so i'll just click on this instead of writing blue here i'll just say red okay it is getting applied to the complete thing because i have not specified the color here okay so let's write color and let's write blue you can see this is given more priority we have discussed about this in our css intro session if you have not watched my previous video yet please do go back to my channel folks hub and do watch that video to understand uh, the priority of the CSS, right? What is inline CSS? What is external CSS? You have to understand this. You have to understand the priority given, right? Only then you can ac actually understand why is this happening like this, right? So for P tag, I gave red color by default, right? But you can see for coding instructor, coding instructor is also present in P tag itself, right? But still it has the color blue because I'm specifying it over here in the style attribute. Okay, this is given more priority now, right? You can see the same inline, this is an inline element itself, right? It is in the same line, but still it has a different style now, okay? So to do such kind of a thing, we use span tag, right? So span tag is, that's why called as an inline element where it can style something within the same line. And not only that, it is not really um, taking your coding instructor onto the next line, right? It's just on the same line, right? So it is placing the elements one beside the other over here, okay? It's not changing anything, right? So that's why we call the span element as an inline element, which places elements one beside the other, and you can absolutely provide a different style for your element, okay? So only uh, exclusively if you want to style something, you can absolutely use a span tag there, okay? Span element there, okay? Now, I'll show you another example where I'm using span so that you can understand this better, okay? So I'm just writing span. Sorry. Uh, let's write another span. Or I'll do something. First, I'll complete writing this thing first. I write image tag inside this. We know nesting is possible, so I'm writing image tag. We have to write source, and the source should be any image. Uh, let's get flower images. I don't know I, uh, why I actually go to flowers always. <laughs> and I, I think we should have our, um, where's that? Where's that hibiscus? I miss that. <laughs> That was our traditional image, right? Okay. Uh, now, which one do I get? And I don't know. I should get a small link now soon. I'll place it here. Place my cursor here. What happened to this? It's not clickable. I'll just reload this page. Yeah. Don't worry, this happens with code.org sometimes just because this is an online editor, right? And we can't really say when when does this get stuck. I'll just copy image address. Oh my god, this is so huge. Why do we get so huge links? 
copy image address i'll just de i'll say control z control v oh god god just give me some link which is i think i should do this before right ha ah, thank god thank god i need another link also copy image address so i'll just say control z control v thank god we have two links now all right yeah so uh, now i have just placed this here i'm just copying this thing right i'll paste it on the new line okay and instead of using this link let's just get the other one now this one yeah so uh, also i'll i'll just uh, give the width and height so that you can understand come on okay width width is uh, 300 300 is so big let's write 250 i think this is good and then height height also 250 let it be a square image okay let's do the same thing for this with 250 height to 50 okay you can see now we have two span elements now which has image tags inside them right but it is not taking this element onto the next line right it is placing the element on the same line okay so this is what is called as inline element right so whenever you are using two span tags you can absolutely place the element whatever is inside this span tag on the same line okay one beside the other so this is absolutely used for horizontal alignment we can say okay span tag or span element can be used for horizontal alignment of the components okay so it can be image component or image element or any other thing like this right so for horizontal alignment you use span tag okay now i hope you understood what a span tag is right so let's understand about div tag now okay to to just give you some introduction about div before that i would just start a comment yeah so let's so div element okay div element is a block level element right block level element which aligns all the components one below the other okay one below the other right unlike the span element it's quite opposite to that right so then so div element elements are block level right so the i will elements are block level or what is a block level element so let's understand that with the example okay so div close this div then i'm just writing this is a div element okay you can see this is a div element is on the next line on the new line right so always any div element will be on the new line okay it's like a different section on the whole right if i go to style and if i style this div component i'll just say background color so that it will be very easy for you to understand background color let's say uh, aquamarine see this is occupying the entire space right div elements are block level elements that is the first thing and they occupy the entire width of the page okay any div element
will occupy the entire width of the web page okay and it always starts off in a new line right this is a different section which you are creating in your web page right so this is a completely different section now okay now uh, let's take another uh, example something like this right so that you can understand about the alignment of the components so instead of span i'll just write div and uh, here instead of span we have to close div tag right and here also it's the same thing div and div okay you can see while you're using span elements you have the alignment of the components horizontally on the same line right but when you're using a div element you have the alignment of the components one below the other right vertical alignment is there okay this is the difference between a span element and a div element okay of course using a div element you can specify the style for individual divisions right if i want to give a specific style for this div and if i want to give a specific style for this div absolutely it works okay that's possible right but you can see this is a different section now this is a different section and this is like uh, this is what is called as block level element so this div element is in one block and the next div element is in the next block okay it doesn't really place the components one beside the other right so it starts off in a new line that just means that it is aligning your components vertically one below the other okay span elements are always uh, something like they align themselves horizontally on one line div elements are elements which arrange themselves or align themselves one below the other in a block format okay so this is about div and span element and i hope you understood this right if you have any questions or concerns you can absolutely comment in the comment section below do let me know about them right and do share your project links with me in the comment section below so that i can check them out and i can get more creative and i can just see how far you are doing it right and how creative you are uh, becoming on this right so if you want to style your images you can absolutely do that okay but this session was not absolutely meant for style right so i'm not showing you or else you can uh, style your image tags like this so let's uh, let's style for your image tag let's give border border radius first before that let's write border if you're not specifying the border how can you specify radius for it right so i'm just writing two pixels solid red border okay border radius to be 10 pixels you can see now you have the border radius on the edges right okay so you can style it like this and you can give ridge borders you can uh, give box shadows right if you have not watched my previous videos please do go back and watch to understand about the style more and also the box shadow okay if you want to understand about box shadow please do go back to my previous video in that we have discussed about box shadow and we have created that okay so yes this was all about our today's session which is about div and span okay i hope you got the clear picture of when to use a span tag and when to use a div tag and you can absolutely use span and div for nesting right inside a div tag you can write multiple span elements you can write p tags image tags a tags whatever you want okay and inside a span element also you can do all of these things right when you want to place something one beside the other then you can absolutely use a span element and if you want to specifically style something you can use a span element okay so yes this is all about it and uh, yeah so hope you enjoyed this session today i'll be meeting you in my next session until then you know what you have to do right so you just have to go back to my channel folks hub open the playlist do watch all of the videos in a sequence right there are there are some very cool contents coming up for you guys and already uploaded for you guys so please do watch all of these again and again if you're not understanding something right yes thank you so much for watching this video 
please do like comment share and subscribe to my channel folks hub huh? and i'll meet you all in the next session bye bye and have a great